has put the source down to 360 for most of these streams so that I don't have to lag on my own stream because we don't want to lag. We don't want to lag. There we go. There we go. Right, guys, on the attack here this time round. Well, lots more, lots of pull axes. A couple of more heroes with some range classes. You've got the muskets. You've got the longbow in there. You've got some one maul, or oh, one sh uh, long sword to keep everybody healed up, and one short sword. So, so short sword definitely not getting used as much as they used to be getting used. That's for sure. On the defense, they've got more short swords though. You've got Bruder de face, Bruder no face. Sorry, Fjord, Selfina. Uh, lots of pole axes, couple of nadaches in there, couple of muskets, and one lone dual blader. Um, unit wise, lots of cav, lots of cav guys coming from the side of Rose on the at on the attack. They've got the IPGs, the halberdier sergeants, Fort Abrasio, Palisgars, Modal. They've definitely got defensive units here. They are split between this, the three areas here on the attack. So we're going to see a sally out by the looks of it from the guys of Rose. See how this is going to work out for them. They've got Armagers, they've got lots of Jav Cav, they've got Cataphracts in there as well. So it's going to be an interesting strategy here. How is this going to work for Rose? Are we going to see a very good Sally? Are they going to wipe a lot of the units to start with and make it really difficult for the guys of No Beaches on the attack here? Let's have a, let's have a look here. As things will jump off my face here and we can get into it. Kurik Castle, round two. We are already 1-0 to no beaches, but the Sally is going to come out. Nail Hill, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. Here we go. They've got already re-instantly trebbed it. The treb comes out in perfect time. An instantaneous treb here. Rose guys start to filter out. A couple of units do fall to the treb, but they manage to make the most of it, and they get their way out here. Now they're trying to encircle the guys of no beaches. They're all over the place just now because they spread in different spawn points. They're all going down the right-hand side where the supply point is to try and focus as many units there as possible. They're going to stay on the supply point to get as much heals as possible. Um, but obviously if one hero jumps on there, they no longer get healed by that. So the Jav Cav sitting at a distance. Drogon Instinct dies here. Instinct's been picked up by Berserker mode. Heroes are all fighting outside on the point. Couple of heroes are dead here on the on the defensive side. They're actually the defensive side are dying quicker as well by the looks of it. Rose are starting to come and they're not actually dealing as much damage. They have dealt some good damage here number wise. They're down to nine hundred on the on the attack unit wise, one thousand on the defense. But there's not it's it's, it's not working in Rose's favor here, here. Their heroes are dying quicker. You've got Sanksu is died. Mosby has just been kicked out from Costex. You've got a lot more heroes on the defense here. Dying, uh, they're down to nine, down to nine hundred seventy-nine units. But some more calf starts to make their way out on this fight for the supply point. Heroes are trying to stay alive as much as possible here. Dealing not enough damage though, but they're they have taken out quite a good set of units here. Four brashes, IPDs, uh, lots of modal and stuff like that have been getting wiped out. But Rose are going to start making their way back inside here. The heroes are outside. Improvis just going to be there just to be a distraction as long as possible. Oh my, uh, Ghost X picks up another kill here, but it's 14 units versus 12 hero-wise. But unit-wise, let's have a look here. 218 units dead on the attack and only 207 on the defense. That's a, that's a pretty decent effort, pretty decent effort. My Oxtron, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. My, my Zotron. How do you say your name? Thank you for the follow, buddy. Ghost X. Picking up a couple of good hero kills here, Ghost X. Ghost X is a... Uh, it doesn't actually tell me on this strategy thing, mate. Oh, I'd have to do this. Here we go. Unit-wise and hero-wise, death-wise. Pretty pretty decent average here. We'll do this. And where are we all now? They're all defending on the home point now. All the heroes have gone back to home. Just like what the guys of No Beaches did on the defense. Now they're trying to make their siege towers up. That was a very good delaying tactic as well. Because when you going out there, nobody's pushing siege towers. They waste a little bit more time to get it. Yes, they can climb the walls. Yes, they can jump onto A and still cap the A points and stuff. But they can't get units up. They can't do anything like that. They've got to go grab the supply point, waste some more time. And they don't know where the defense are going to be. So, like, you don't want to risk it going there on your own and get wiped out as well. So, a very good delaying tactic from Rose. In terms of hero wise though, they did get ten deaths um in comparison to only four uh kills that they got for hero wise, but unit wise they have managed to give the advantage to unit wise. Um so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. 
Now that they've got A, next protocol is B. They're all going to make their way towards B, grab that supply point in the back here, and we're going to be back to where we were with the fight the last time round when Rose were making their effort towards the home point. Wonder how uh, No Beaches is going to have their strategy here. What's going to happen? Are they going to start pushing walls? Are they going to go around the, the main entrance post here? Are they going to go through the two left gates towards the supply point? We'll be interested to see. We've got a total of 50 minutes to find out exactly how it's going to go down. General Reap makes his way through the gate just to see what's around there. Has a wee nosy, picks in and out and jumps back out. But that's what you need to do. You have to scan. You have to check the surroundings, check where the units are defending. There's nothing in this gateway. All the units are forced, forced on main supply point like main unit here and then supply point but they're not in the same position you've got some javelin sergeants up top here again dealing some damage along with zykelia militia ready to do as much damage as possible in their volleys especially the uh zykelia militia when you get units all clumped up and you get that burn damage it can work out really well ghost x takes these boys into the gate has a look to see what's around there all the heroes are coming this way as well all the units are starting to make their way around the main gate Sickle Wagon just being a distraction there, picking up, putting up some ladders, trying to deal some damage. Monteki trying to, to stop him doing that as much as possible. But all the units are starting to rotate, hero-wise rotation. They're making it look like they're going main gate as the guys from Rose start to make their way up onto the wall. Now they're starting to make their way around. They're going towards the supply point push. Ghost X jumps in towards the main as if they were going to home. But the rest of the heroes all go under and just sit and wait. They're just moving back and forward. They do this. It's a very good strategy. They make sure that they can maneuver back and forward. So that they start making the defense move. The more you make the defense move and get out of position, the better opportunity you have to potentially, like, jump on top of that and make the damage. There's the like, killer militia doing the damage that we says they would do. Throwing their grenades down as they start making their way up and around the seat, like the wall here to go up the stairwell and take out that unit of javelins or palace guards that are on the walls. Like, killer militia is going to try and deal some damage as a cav charge comes in here from Hawk. And Takao picks up some unit kills here. Some hero kills falling here as well. Good couple of charges here, but it looks like the guys from No Beaches are going to get some high ground superiority up on this wall here. Now that they've wiped out the units up on the wall, Berserker Mo is just trying to deal some damage and pick off some units here, but they've got the modal at the bottom of the stair from Axial. There's still Zykele and Militia dealing some damage to the modal that have came up from the guys of No Beaches. Berserker Mo just being dragged off and thrown off of the wall as he survives as well. He does survive it um, to... To tackle picks up the shot of the ranks and actually gets the immovables as an object as the guys from No Beaches start to make their way through towards the main point. Taking their units of Cav, coming round just to see where the units are going. But Rose have a good setup of Fort Abrasio there. Units going in here to try and deal some damage. They're getting in, but Palace Guards brace. There is Flamers in the midst of that as well. And now we've got the Flamers and the char Calf Charge comes straight into the Fort Abrasio as the Flames start ripping the units there. Ghost X falls to his death, so does Drogon. The units in rows trying to rotate in from the supply point side. Instinct's just roaming around with his Calf, but there comes in a Treb. The Treb's going to deal some damage. Not going to hit much units there, but Rose have a solid defence there. They're down to 525 units on the attack and only 12 heroes alive just now. 715 on the defence and 14 heroes all ready to start rotating and making their way up as they try to pick up Curse Fly on top of the wall here. All the heroes try to force that kill here. Delchi Salfina is going to pick it up. Who's going to get the kill here though? Daichi gets the kill against Curse Fly. Heroes now. There's only 12 heroes on Eden's or No Beach's side trying to get themselves reorganized for the next push. We have 11 minutes left. Still plenty of time here. Actual trolling again. Actual always trolling, man. Nazla D. Amadata. Ad Adamanta? Adamanta. Adamanta. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the new followers, guys. Thank you for the support and uh, here chilling, watching CB Rivals. This is round two. This is No Beaches versus Rose. Rose are the attacking side here. It's already 1-0 to No Beaches from the first attack uh, that Rose put on. Uh, but now Rose are the ones trying to do the defense and trying to see where things go. Rose rotating up on top of the wall because the hero's advantage here is on the wall as all the heroes start to make their way and rotate. Ghost X leading the charge there as he gets knocked down by the musket bomb. Musket bomb deals some damage there and knocks a lot of the heroes back as all the heroes start to make their way off of the wall. 
and try to make a move now. Madshin starting to go through the wall. Sickle Wagon looks as if he's going to go that way. All the heroes start to make their way into the main push here. We're going to rotate around here and see what happens now. They start to make their way in. The ISGs at the gate are slowing it down unit-wise, but they're not going to deal much damage because they don't do much damage in that position. You have got Javelin Sargent up top trying to deal some damage from Fuhr. Gude sees that. He jumps off and tries to deal some damage to them as no beaches start to make their way in. The Flamer's doing some work here. Daichi picks up the brittle and rotten achievement here. Oh my god, Hawk with the shattered ranks and Daddy Dill Pool takes a death here from Improbus. Axel has been killed as well from Daichi as no beaches start to make their way in. Here comes the calf charging coming from the inside here. There's a lot of heroes there ready to be picked up. A couple of heroes do fall to the calf char as the push is coming in very strongly from no beaches here. They have got 11 versus 11 but they have good amount of heroes and units onto the home point and going towards the home point. The Trebs need to come in really well here and they need to get themselves set up. The palace guards are braced. There is flamers in the back as well to deal some extra damage as the Treb comes in. Fantastic effort here from the guys of no beaches as they make their way in to the home point. They're surrounding as many people as possible. The Flamers are doing some work, but Armagers and Modal coming out from Rose. Another Trebs inbound here as Cav comes in from no beaches. It charges in, but is stopped quite quickly here by the Modal and the ranged units of Javelins dealing the damage in the side here. Another Cav charge comes in. On the right hand side here, is it going to get into the heroes in the back as the javelins start to deal the damage? Madison gets picked up. Fewer with the kill there with his javelins. And it looks like hero wise, it's 11 versus 11. What, 12 versus 12 now? But where units are quite close. Looks like no beaches are going to have to get some unit superiority here. But they so far, Rose have fight, fought off the fight of the units. And so far, they are winning the battle of the fights here. They've got 100 units more in defense to protect it. The Trebs keep coming in, but they are just missing units that are coming through the points, but Rose are managing to fight off this fight. Lots of heroes for the side of No Beaches, though it looks like a No Beaches hero advantage on the home point. Just don't have the units to stop anything else. OMG, Hawk, Shizzy, Daiichi is the Polaxes is all trying to deal some work, staying alive as long as possible, trying to pick off heroes. As no beaches go for the hero kills. They're trying to pick off heroes one for one. They are definitely ganging up on each one as much as they can. OMG Hawk trying to stay alive as long as possible here. He is picked up and falls to his death. Here comes in Kibachi with some javelin sergeant. Starting to deal some more damage here. Lots more heroes there. There's 13 heroes on the attack of no beaches versus 7. They have the advantage on hero wise. They just don't have any units left. 197 units but there's not enough here on the point to help here as the javelin sergeants keep throwing, keep doing some damage to the units. Ghost deck picks up Daiichi here but it's another Treb coming in on the point here. Unit wise we are closing in to the last chance push here. Seven minutes still left, but they have the hero advantage only just for no beaches. Nine versus eight here. Trebs have been coming in. Quad kill from Fuhr here as Fuhr does some good work. Monteki picks up a quad kill here as well, and it's a very close battle here on the home point. This is looking fantastic. Fantastic. They've managed to push away. Rose is managing to move away from that. As that Treb comes in, that might deal some decent damage to the units that are moving in. It is just Serfs that are going to manage to take the damage here. But Rose are starting to make their way through the home point here. The 11 heroes on the defense versus 8 on the attack. Make that 9 as one just spawns back in. Ghost X was the last one to fall there. And Probus picks up that kill against Ghost X. But it looks like with the unit of superiority here, we have the unit advantage in favour of Rose. It's definitely a difficult position to attack. Curate Castle being very, very difficult here as an attack inside. Where are they going to go from here? What is No Beach's next plan of attack? We have six minutes, still plenty of time. If they win the way they were winning the hero fights on that last push, they might actually take this. They might get the winning by winning the hero versus hero battles. And that's where they were winning the fight. They weren't winning on the unit's advantage just now because of the sally out from Rose at the very start, which did help. But I don't know if they can recover from this. When you order Eden from Wish. <laughs> oh, well, Jake. Go, 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 go. Let's see what we got here. What have we got here? What is the next push going to be consistent of here? Are we going to see something solid? Montegi is picked up by Ghost X. Hero is 15 versus 13 just now. The attack inside with the two hero advantage. Still got unit deficit here. But we are still managing to make themselves known and get themselves onto the point. Definitely a mixed bag of hero, as you can see, 
on the attack in comparison to the defensive side. A lot more short swords, a lot more pole axes, which is obviously don't really deal with the damage uh, in yeah, the DPS as much as some of the other hero classes. Pole axe is doing pretty decent in its standings just now with uh, damage numbers uh, and as well survivability. But things going in here now. Eden, or should we say... No beaches starting to make their way in now. They bring their heroes in. They start making their way forward. There is Pikes stopping the left the left hand side here. Push with flamers in the corner here as well. All the units and heroes starting to make their way onto the home point. This is the last push here from no beaches. They start to pick off the heroes as much as possible. It's 13 versus 14 in favour of the defence just now. The Treb comes in, but it does miss most things. It's literally oh the, the even count on the units now is closing in. The unit count is closing in. The heroes count is going now in favour of no beaches it's 13 on the attack versus 12 here there is fights going on everywhere and they're starting to pick off heroes one for one the hero battle is going off very well now too many short swords on the defensive rows no beaches start to get superiority on the point if they can close off that supply point they're getting the unit here the fort abrasio needs to brace they do the brace is in the modal start to come in from the defense but the cap point is starting to be capped. The hero advantage is 13 versus 7 for No Beaches. No Beaches might take this win here. Four minutes left. They have the advantage. The heroes are fighting for their life. Improbus. And you've got IOMG Boars on the defense there. But he is a light armor class first and a medium armor class. So they will fall quite quickly. The heroes are surviving on the point for no beaches. The short shot needs to be stopped. Mosby is the last person that can actually stop this count here in this pit. Uh, he is on the point for now, but units are starting to make their way back. The Treb incoming. Mosby tries to jump on. Sylvia is the last hero alive just now that is able to stop the point, and he is getting picked off by all the heroes as it is from no beaches. The cap point should start to get capped. There is one hero unit still on the point, but no beaches will start to cap it. There's only one hero alive, and he is Rislin, and Rislin is being picked off by the whole set of units. No beaches have responded fantastically well. Who was saying budget Eden, but that is Rose well and truly done for. Shizzy tries to jump on to defend it as long as possible with that many heroes fighting. No beaches takes the win. That was a fantastic push. The hero versus hero battles was where that one was won. No beaches. Hammock picking up six hero kills as a long will, picking off them extra hero kills. Fantastic ever. 123 unit kills as well. Sickle wagon with seven hero kills once again. You've also got Ghost X down here near the bottom, but 6 hero kills, 37 units, 16 assists. Lots of assists going from the side as well of the attack, which also shows how well they work together as a team and making sure they're focusing on them hero kills. On the defense, Fuhrer with the MVP, 4 hero kills, 115 unit kills. Improbus did a great job as well, 6 hero kills, 94 units. And that was a fantastic, fantastic push from the no beaches. Winning that hero versus hero battle was crucial, as you can see here. Heroes killed 48 versus 34, but it was the timing of them hero kills. It was the times they were killing them quickly enough to stop anybody getting back in to defend the point. Rose did have a good sally out, but it wasn't enough for, to gain the mega advantage on the unit kills. Because the unit kills are pretty even by the end of it. They are pretty close. It actually goes in favour of the guys of No Beaches. But what an effort that was. No Beaches, great work on your attack that is a 2-0 win you guys win this series it is